We're now um, hearing some pretty harsh words from President Trump and the U.S. saying, well, if they retaliate, we retaliate back. Is it the oil market? Well, the oil market is obviously at the crossroads of all these retaliation and cross-retaliation threats that we have been seeing over the last 24, 48 hours. What was most extraordinary was the statement coming from Saudi Arabia yesterday, Sunday, where it highlighted that they will retaliate against any measures, and they highlighted that they play a vital role in the global economy. They didn't mention oil, but everyone in the oil market read oil when they, they, when they saw that statement saying vital role in the, in the global economy. Uh, so can Saudi Arabia use the oil riches to, to put political pressure on, on the United States? Certainly can. I doubt it that they're going to go that road. Uh, it will be the first time since 73, uh, since the Arab oil embargo in 1973, that the Saudis go that way. And I think that it will be extraordinary and probably self-defeating because it will just trigger probably a release of a strategic petroleum reserves. And certainly it will push more and more the uh, global economy towards renewables and electric cars. Um, Javier, let me bring you over to my chart. Now, this is the correlation between oil, of course, and and you know Saudi production because they're really the kingpin maker within OPEC. We heard a lot of traders saying they were worried about you know oil going to hundred dollars. Does this now make it more likely? Well, in a way, if if, if the Saudis were to uh, use oil, they don't really need to to impose an embargo or anything. They use need to go easy with production, probably not increasing production as much, not offsetting the whole loss of Iranian exports, and or at least a significant chunk of the Iranian exports. We are losing also production in Venezuela. So they have tools if they want to see prices going up to $100. On the other hand, uh, we have the oil and money conference last week in London. I was talking to a number of oil executives and oil traders. We're beginning to see cracks in the other side of the equation, that is the demand side. Emerging markets are really suffering. It's not just because of the oil price. It has been a lot of problems over the summer with currencies. And that means that probably we're not going to see the increase in oil demand that we were expecting in 2019. And that is bad news for the oil price and for the Saudis. Um, but Javier, we, we've also seen President Trump tweet a lot of times about OPEC saying they should do more, they should do more. Is it just going to intensify because of you know what happened with the disappearance of Khashoggi? I, I think that one thing is clear is politics that never left the oil market. Let's be clear, politics have been always with the oil market. But politics are now really at the center of the oil market we are seeing more and more is the president tweets uh, tweeting uh, yes we are going to see more political pressure from the united states one thing i clearly can could be coming in the next few weeks is the nopec that uh, act in congress that it will allow the u.s to sue opec for market manipulation and through acting as a cartel i think with all what's happening right now in saudi arabia and the saudi threats the passage of that uh, nopec act in congress is almost guaranteed